The Winter Soldier isn't an accountable person. There's no moral agency. He's essentially a robot. I meant to let you judge. If a robot commits a crime, the robot isn't responsible. The person who programs it is. But Bucky still feels guilt, even though he really shouldn't. Because he isn't a robot. He's a person. And people are complicated. Captain America Civil War explores a lot of themes. Authority, vengeance, grief, blame, responsibility. And it's those last two that I want to talk about today because they almost exclusively apply in this case to people who are trying to do the right thing. We are going to explore the role of morality in culpability mainly through three characters, Wanda, Bucky, and Tony. We'll start with Wanda because she's the most straightforward. And you're coming with me. Anytime violence is involved, collateral damage is a potential risk. The fact of the matter is way more people would have died in Nigeria without the Avengers interference. But a smaller number of different people died because of Wanda in particular. That changes who feels at fault, but in reality it doesn't change who is at fault. Good Samaritan laws exist for this very reason. If somebody falls and breaks their leg in front of an oncoming bus, but while I'm pulling them out of the way of the bus, I break their arm. They probably can't sue me for breaking their arm. That's the gist of Good Samaritan laws. And regardless of the legality of Wanda's behavior, it was completely moral. Her choices were sound, but that doesn't change the fact that she now feels guilty because she did influence the situation. But from my perspective, she didn't kill those people. Crossbones did, when he detonated a bomb in a crowded area. Honestly, if someone threw a grenade at you, and you panicked and swatted it away, and then it killed someone else, are you evil? Of course not. Are you racked with guilt? Of course! But at the end of the day, the fault still lies with the mystery grenadier. Wanda's situation is sad but it's a real situation that people grapple with. Almost anyone who tries to help people in difficult and profound ways has felt this. Maybe a police officer tries to stop a criminal. The criminal jumps in a getaway car and takes off, hitting an innocent bystander and killing them. That officer is always going to question whether their interference and the way that they interfered cost that bystander their life. Soldiers, therapists, doctors, are all likely to have experienced something like this. To those of you in Wanda's situation, you are not to blame for failing to stop the grenade. You're to be commended for trying. You aren't at fault. The guy who pulled the pin is. I don't know if I'm worth all this to you. Bucky's situation is just sad too. While he's brainwashed, he functionally stops being human. But you did all those years. It wasn't you. You didn't have a choice. There is no agency. And if there's no agency, no free will, morality can't exist. I think it's pretty obvious that he isn't culpable for his actions as the Winter Soldier. I know. But I did it. But he still did it. So, like Wanda, he is racked with guilt. But Wanda's actions were inherently good, while Bucky's were not. So he has to live with that. Bucky doesn't need punished. Bucky needs therapy. <laughs> he needs healing. And he needs unbrainwashed. And he gets that after he turns himself in. He's able to heal. His name was Charlie Spencer. You murdered him. In Sokovia. Not that that matters in the least to you. Tony has an entirely different problem in this movie. Now, I'm going to be pretty harsh on Tony here, so I want to recognize that he is only partway through his character arc, and he gets better, and I get that. But for now, 
He's dead. And I blame you. She's right. That's on him. And to understand the difference, let's look at the examples they give when they explain why the Sokovia Accords are necessary. Because one of these things is not like the others. New York. The Avengers didn't cause an alien invasion. Washington, D.C. Or a Hydra takeover. Lagos. Or a terrorist bombing. They stopped them, even though there was still some collateral damage. But the damage was way less than it would have been if they hadn't have shown up and interfered. Sokovia. But Sokovia is completely on them, and especially on Tony. He is culpable. A robot committed a crime, and he programmed the robot. His intention wasn't evil, which is kind of the only reason he isn't the villain in all of these movies, but that doesn't change his guilt, and Tony recognizes it. Ultron really shook Tony's faith in his own moral judgment, so he spends this entire movie trying to put that responsibility on someone else. There's no decision-making process here. We need to be put in check. Whatever form that takes, I'm game. He can't trust himself to make the right call. So let's put it in the government's hands instead. That way, if things go wrong, it isn't all on him. It's simultaneously very self-aware and kind of selfish. But he makes an exception here when he makes a moral decision to break rank, disobey orders, and go help Cap and Bucky. And then almost immediately goes back to making the wrong call. Because attacking Bucky is almost objectively an immoral action. I don't care. He killed my mom. Yeah, I know he killed his mom. And that's a pretty valid reason to go on a murderous rampage. But just because it's understandable doesn't make it right. Being driven by fury would have just made it second degree murder instead of first. But it's still murder. And it's still wrong. Cool motive, still murder. One of the themes of Tony's character is that he tends to create his own villains. So he may be right that he can't trust himself to make the correct decision. He has a pretty crappy track record, but delegating away your moral agency is a very dangerous path to go down. No, but it's run by people with agendas and agendas change. If we sign this, we surrender our right to choose. And unfortunately, it's one we go down all the time. Who said we're giving up? We are for not taking responsibility for our actions. This document just shifts the blanks. Whether it's the government, a religious institution, your spouse, a parent, a friend, a boss, we have all had times where we have tried to make someone else responsible for our poor decisions. We usually just call it shifting blame. But when taken too far, it becomes responsible for phrases like, I'm just following orders, which is responsible for some of the greatest atrocities in human history. But the morality of following orders versus rebelling against the system is a topic for the next Civil War video. Guilt is useful in helping us develop sound judgment. Tony needs to learn from his guilt. And he does. But Wanda and Bucky's guilt isn't as useful because they aren't culpable for what went wrong. Sure, Wanda can maybe learn from her mistakes to be more effective at saving people next time, but that's a matter of improving skill, not moral reasoning. Guilt like theirs isn't helpful. It only brings you down because there's nothing to change or improve. There's nothing to be learned from it. You need to be able to identify what things you are culpable for and which ones you aren't so you can learn from the good guilt and heal from the bad in order to make the world a bit of a better place. This isn't the first time we've talked about Marvel movies on the channel. You can watch another video about one right over here. I think you'll enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video and try to be a generally good person. That's all I got.